Good morning from Atlanta. This is Jesse coming to you live. Today's video is entitled Butchering a Pony. <laughs> and I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people out there thinking we're abusing animals here. But basically the situation is I've got this 73 uh, Grande Mustang and the customer needs a roof off of it. Unfortunately he needs it. Right about here, I'm going to bring it down to about here because I'm going to be cutting it with a torch. And anytime you use a torch, it distorts the metal. And some people could say, well, why don't you use Sawzall? Well, I was. And unfortunately, my generator started coughing and I broke a blade. But we're going to cut this puppy right about here. Right about here. And as you can see, we've already started that on the other side. I got it about where I want it. My torch is kind of working. I need another tip, and I just haven't had a chance to drive the 25 miles one way to get one. But we started our cut right here. I'm going to see if I can't find some sawzall blades. Get my generator working a little bit better. We're going to give this customer exactly what he wants. We're going to donate this pony right here. She took a fire. She's been cut in the front. Not much left of it. And we have about four more of these, so I figured this would be the best one to sacrifice. There was one more in rougher shape. Unfortunately, that car, they had already cut the quarter off of it and one side got up into the roof line pretty high. But anyways, if you're out here in the LNL Classic area and you need some pony Mustang parts, just give us a holler, okay? Monday through Friday from 8 to 5, Saturday from 8 till noon. And as always, always, God bless, be safe. May the weather be with you and keep it between the ditches. Okay, as you can see, even though we cut it with a torch, it distorted the metal down here pretty good, but nothing up in here, and I needed it about right here. So I've got it far enough away back that I think they can make this work for them. Also on the inside, you've got double steel, and you've got this little grabber strip right here, alligator clippy. I'm going to take this off. Take this out, and I'm going to try and cut it up across the simplest spot. I'll have to do a little bit of metal down here in the back, uh, where it's got that little lip. But we want to try and salvage the package tray, and as much of the quarter as possible. This quarter is damaged. It has Bondo in it, but there's still a quarter, and so we need a dog leg possible. And then the package tray for the novice out there, uh, we'll call this the outer package tray, inner package tray. Obviously, everything is seamed, and the seams is really where you want to try and do your cuts as best possible. If you cut it farther over into one side or the other, you're either going to damage some of the package tray or some of the quarter or some of the inner fender well. And every car is a little bit different, so... Some of them are easier than others. Um, this particular car here, I say this is probably one of the most stripped down ones we have. Um, and it's a big crumple right here in the back, so I doubt anyone would ever try and put her back together. But we do have several other of these Mustangs, so if you decided that you had to have one, other than we don't have any fastbacks. I always like the fastback in this year. Not my favorite, but a lot better than the Coupe Grandes. But that's a Mustang, and a horse is a horse is a horse, of course. Anyway, hopefully I didn't distort the metal too bad right there. And this is what we go through to try and make our customers happy. I'll probably cut this thing off and leave it right here where it sits today. The customer comes out and we come out here and figure out how to load it into whatever he's going to transport it with. Anyway, stay tuned. Okay. we got new hacksaw blades. Got cut. And got a cut. As you can see, she's ready to lift up, take on to the next thing. Salvage as much as we could of that package tray. Hopefully, we gave them everything they need. And this roof's ready to be toted out of here. 
but unfortunately I'm not feeling that strong right now so I just wait till the customer comes out and we will uh, get him to help and we'll load this onto his vehicle of preference and another Mustang stays on the road and another one got butchered for parts anyways stay tuned for our next adventure <laughs>